So finally, he got the message after a couple years. He and his wife take the cruise. And he comes back, and uh, we talk. And he's crying. And he said, best thing I've ever done. <laughs> he said, but I, got to tell you. I said, why are you crying? He said, he said, my wife was diagnosed with cancer a week after we got back. Oh, no. So yeah. had mm. he not been able to give that experience, uh -huh. right? Mm. And for him, just that, that idea, that, okay, I can do this, yeah. right? Starting your route to retirement. This week on the Guided Retirement Show, I'm really excited to have Mark Comfort. He is the owner, along with his wife Mimi, of Cruise Holidays and Comfort Tours. And you're going to love Mark's story uh, from how he started his business to his passion today. And we're going to talk about living a rich life. We're going to talk about how to travel the right way, how to do that, how to budget that in, and the trade-offs on you know whether you're going to go into a really nice cabin or whether you're going to splurge on airfare. We're going to talk about building life experiences. And as you head into retirement, or if you're already retired, that's really what you're looking for. We're going to talk about how critical it is that you start making these plans well before retirement so that you can experience some of the things that Mark Comfort and I are going to talk about today. You'll find the show description in the show notes at guidedretirementshow.com. If you'd rather watch us as opposed to listen to us, go to the YouTube channel, Guided Retirement Show, and we hope you really enjoy this. Let's get to Mark. All right, so we got Mark Comfort. He is the owner of Cruise Holidays and Comfort Tours. Mark, you're in the travel business for how many years? Uh, this is 31 years, Dean. Are you ready? November 14th, 31 years. 31 years. Yeah. All right, so you've been in the travel business almost as long as I've been in yeah. the financial planning business. And there's a lot of similarities between yeah. what you do and what I do. And yeah. of course, you know, we are all about trying to help people have a successful retirement, kind of guide them through that uh, retirement time frame. And, and, and your idea is to guide them through great vacations. But before we get into that and before we get into how to travel well and, you know, how people make plans for these things, mm -hmm. tell us about Mark Comfort and yeah. and tell us about why this is your passion and, and um, you know, what have you learned over the years in all of the people that you've been able to meet and serve in the travel industry. Oh, good. Um, my Lord, let's go back to the beginning. When I married my wife, Mamie, in 1978, Dean, her father was the epitome of what America's all about. Starting in high school, sweeping the floors of this construction equipment company that he worked for 57 years, but he owned that company the last 30 years. Now think wow. about that. Sweeping the floors in high school, part-time, to... Um, warehouse, uh, inside sales, inside operations, uh, vice president of sales, buying into the company, buying the entire company, 57 years there. So my wife, my wife Mimi, who she and I own the business together, so let's <laughs> make sure that's said. Um, she had that entrepreneurial spirit. My father was a salesman and manager, sales manager, so I had that, that in me too. Now, the problem was we didn't have any money, nor did we have any experience when we got married. That sounds familiar <laughs> when you get married, right? Sounds familiar. <laughs> That's true with most of us. So we went out and did our own thing, Dean, for 10 years, saved up enough money, and decided on, are you ready for this? We knew we wanted to do a small business, she and I and maybe a couple employees, but especially business. That was the key where we could give the kind of service to our customers that Mimi had seen her father do for all those years, uh, that I had seen my father do for all those years. Customer service, customer service, customer service. Uh, Dad said that for years, for years. So we went out, are you ready for this? We bought a Heavenly Hems franchise. Heavenly. Gourmet okay. Hems. Okay. You've heard of Honey Baked oh, Hems. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that was on a Sunday at Hilton Head, South Carolina. On a Monday morning, I get up and my wife says, Mark, we made a mistake, made a mistake. I said, Mimi, we just put down every penny we've saved for the last 10 years. And I gave, I gave my hand and I, I shook, shook his hand, which my dad said, uh, uh, you shake a man's hand, that's a contract. Now we did sign the contract too. Long story short, we had the three day right of rescission. 
I prayed all day. God, please tell Mimi that it's not a mistake. <laughs> and um, next day, I looked at Mimi, and she said, mm -mm, we shouldn't be doing this. So we backed out, Dean, and we lost about two-thirds of our money. Wow. I went back on my word, and it just ate me alive, literally ate me alive. Uh, and I was, I'm a very optimistic guy, and I went into a little uh, funk, I guess you'd call it, not a depression. Mimi took me on a cruise to get me out of this the state of mind I so was in. So you just lost two thirds of your money, and she takes you on a cruise. And by the way, I was furious with her for doing that. I bet furious. But we now here's the key. Did you have kids by that point? Uh, we had two kids. Yes, okay. and they are both seven and and about four. So pretty young. Yeah. You know what that's like when you have those kind of expenses with kids and all this. Long story short, I was so mad at her, but we she paid it as you do cruises, bef sixty days before you went. So she'd already paid it in full before she even told me about it. Ah. So I, I couldn't back out of it. Went on the cruise, Dean, and the rest is history. Fell in love with the experience and said, sweetheart, this is what we ought to do. Let's make dreams come true for people. And that's what we've been doing for 31 years. So tell me about, um, tell me about your experience in working with people. Uh, let's, let's go to people that have yeah. never, ever cruised before. Uh, they've saved and they've worked hard and... Mm -hmm. and most of the people, when you think about cruises, you're thinking about people that are in their yeah. retirement years. Yeah. And that's the majority of sure. people mm -hmm. that are on cruise ships. You and I have both been on, you've been on a heck of a lot more of them <laughs> than I have. But, you know, a lot of times I feel like the young guy out there yeah. on the cruise mm -hmm. ship. But so what? tell me about what you've learned from the experiences that people get to have when they mm -hmm. go on these types mm -hmm. of trips. Dean, let's, let's say this. The one thing I've noticed about people in my <clears throat> about 45 years of being in the business world is everybody has dreams. Everybody has dreams. Now, some people's dreams are a little bit more in my world international. Sometimes people just want to go to Nashville or go to the coast or go to a beach. Other times people have bucket listing. This is the big keywords in our industry sure. now, bucket list. Most people have bucket lists. The sad thing about it, Dean, and this is where you, we pray for people like you and your company to do well for people, because when they have the financial assets to be able to travel and fulfill those dreams and their bucket lists, oh my gosh, they feel so, you just can't believe the impact we have had a chance to see the vacations we've sent people on have made in their lives. Isn't the, it amazing? It's, it's amazing mm, to watch, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know. absolutely. And you know what? You feel good about it in here. Right. We have the same heart you have. We want to do well for our customers because we know if we do that in your field, they'll be able to do things like these vacations, like these bucket lists, like uh, send their grandkids to college or whatever it might be. How great is that, Dean? And it just makes you feel good to be part of that process. You know, it's interesting. Uh, several years ago, we started doing cruises you know, yeah. for our clients, yeah. I, and, and obviously they pay their own way, they do their own mm -hmm. thing, but sure. one of the reasons why we started doing it was because we might have a widow or we might have yeah. a widow, yeah. um, and I think people like to travel with people that are in a similar type of uh, situation yep. that they might be in, a similar time of life, yep. uh, thing, people that they have things in common with. Yep. Um, I think one of the most fascinating things about when you're when you're doing your cruise holidays is that you can help people define yeah. an itinerary. Uh -huh. You can say these are the things that you can experience and explore yeah. and see and do where you go, and you help hook them up with the right guide. You yeah. help yeah. make sure that the people that have, that live in those different countries or different places yeah. that are there to give them the experience that they want. And I think it's interesting because you, you it's not like if they hire your company to book a cruise for them that you're going to be their guide because you can't do that, right? You can guide them through the, the, the purchase of the cruise and what to do, but you've got to rely on other guides out oh, there with, with us. So I want you to talk about yeah. how, how do you coordinate that and, and what's all involved there? Okay, boy, this is a critical point. This issue you're bringing up right now is the difference between successful businesses when it comes to satisfied customers and not. Our biggest job, we feel, is to find the best contacts, the best vendors, build the best relationships with them, give them the amount of business that they want to 
help us when there is an issue, if there ever is, and there are sometimes, but you're right, Dean, man, customer satisfaction is our number one goal with our business model. Number one goal. If we satisfy the customer, they come back and do repeat business with us and they tell other people about us. They give us referrals. So the contacts that we use are critical in the end satisfaction when they're on that vacation. You know, we were just talking before this began about uh, an area of the world uh, that I'm going to take a group of people to in Egypt and in Jordan. That part of the world is an uncomfortable part of the world for many Americans to go to. A little bit of unrest there. That's right. And people don't know. So when they don't know and they've heard about the unrest over the years, is it safe? Do they want to go? All of this. Most everybody wants to see the pyramids and the Sphinx and uh, all the ruins down in Luxor. But. Is it safe? You know, in a nutshell. Well, you know, Mark. The, yeah. the, you, again, just before this, you're a big Chiefs fan, and yeah. and uh, you know, of course, I don't know when people are going to be listening to this because they can listen to these podcasts sure, at sure, any point in time sure. they want to. But um, it's no secret that the NFL will have some uh, games in Mexico City. Yes. And you're actually going yes. to a game in Mexico City, and and I've had so many people go, "Oh my gosh, I've heard about all the killings yeah. in Mexico. I would mm-hmm. never go to Mexico." Uh-huh. And you know, my wife and I and my kids have, and my uh, in-laws have traveled to Mexico many, yeah, many times yeah. with n- never a hiccup. Um, but let's go back to this whole concept of, um, uh, of knowing where you're going, mm-hmm. knowing the right people to contact with, knowing what the safe places are to yeah. go, the yeah. right way to get yeah. there and all that. I want to go back to the whole cruise idea. Uh, and I don't really want to get off on a tangent with Mexico. So this, this idea of a cruise. So, Mark, somebody could go online to mm-hmm. a cruise vendor, a mm-hmm. cruise company themselves, right? right? Pick one. I mean, mm-hmm. and you can see on there, here's their schedule of cruises. Here's their prices. Yep. And you can book that cruise right there on your own computer. Yep. You can hop online and you can book your own airfare. Yep. And 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 then you can go on, on the cruise website and you can see all of the different tours that the cruise line itself offers. Mm-hmm. Uh, sounds to me like this should be simple enough to do it yourself so how is it that you have a business when people can just go do everything they Mm. want on their own great question and i get asked that all the time and it's a very uh people think it so why not ask it right well the reality is this experience is the best teacher i think we all agree with that in our world we know the unique differences in all the cruise lines maybe even the unique differences between ships within the same cruise line. We know the ones that specialize in entertainment, specialize in exceptional, almost gourmet dining, in um, wellness, fitness, spa type things, um, as well as the itinerary. So our job, Dean, knowing these options for the customer from our firsthand experience allows us the best opportunity to match the customer up with what's right for them. Now, here's where why that's important. Anybody, I'm going to use the word, I'm going to use the brand name Carnival because everybody knows of Carnival Cruises. Some of us yeah. some of us wouldn't want to go on a Carnival Cruise. Dean, that's right, but yeah. some people don't know because they've heard of it, right. right? They know Carnival. Well, Carnival might be right for that particular customer. And Dean, it might not be right. For example, if you came into me and you've heard Carnival, so you want to sound like you know what you're talking about, and you tell me you and your wife want to go on Carnival, uh, knowing you like I do, I would sit down with you professionally and ask you what you're looking for in a vacation. And I would, knowing that that would not be your best option, I would do my best to give you as much information as possible with my suggestion and my counsel as to where that match or that fit would be better for the barbers. And you would be so glad you took my counsel because in your case, I'll use you as an example, that would not be the right fit for you, okay? So we know all that. And our job is to put the match or the fit together. And with the care and the knowledge from firsthand experience, And we follow up with our customers to find out how they like it when they go on these different brands or different itineraries. And there's so, that's just so critically important. Well, our customers, Dean, over the years have found out that and they trust us. 
And by the way, they like us too. So let's let's get to this whole issue of cost because I think there's this notion that if I book this thing on my own, if I do my own deal, that I'm going to save money because I don't have to pay exactly a, a, an agent yeah. to assist me in this. Uh-huh. So. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the same thing occurs in my business, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and I think that there's a there's an old saying out there, and I and I believe this a hundred percent, and it is that that cost is only an issue in the absence of value. So I don't know what your answer is going to be, whether it costs more to travel through you or whether it costs more to do it on your own. But I will tell you this: if I've got to pay a little bit more to make sure that my experience is that much better, yeah. I'm willing to yeah. do that, mm-hmm. right? And it's, it, and I can go to as simple a thing as getting your tax return done. Now, if you want to just go get it done as cheap as you possibly can, take the risk, and maybe mm-hmm. there's going to be a mistake. But if you want to make sure that you've got a good CPA that's yeah. making sure that you're paying as little tax yeah. as possible every single year and, and doing some real good planning for you, you know what? You're going to pay that person a little bit more. But think about what you're going to yeah. save in order to oh. do that. So let's go to that whole cost yeah. issue. What, does it cost more to travel through you? And, and Dean, that is a great question. And again, People are thinking it right because that is the mentality that we've learned over the year. If you skip the middle man, you'll end up saving money. That statement is true if the middle man has inventory. Before we started in this uh, vacation business, I was in the furniture and floor covering business, and I worked for wholesalers. Was that before the ham company or after the ham <laughs> That was before the ham company. Okay. That's where I made the money <laughs> to buy the ham company. <laughs> so when we were with um, the wholesaler here in Kansas City, and I'll use my first job out of college with Armstrong Floor Covering, that wholesaler had to have millions upon millions of dollars of inventory. So to be able to make that profitable for the wholesaler, They had to have a 17% margin markup over what the manufacturer was selling it for. Right. Now, the benefit, you could get it quick, right? In our industry, Dean, we don't have inventory. Right. The cruise ships are our inventory. The resorts are our inventory. We don't have any cost in inventory. So, believe it or not, with our buying power, Dean, in almost 100% of the cases, let's just say 97 out of 100 times or 970 out of 1,000 times, we'll have as good a price, if not better, because of our buying power. And when we don't have the same price, it will be just a very little bit different, and usually then we'll have added value. Onboard credits, uh, free gratuities, upgrades, things like that, that we negotiate. So to your point, yes, people do think that maybe they're going to pay more, In our case, they don't, in almost all the cases. But I will tell you this, we have competitors like Expedia and Travelocity, and sometimes they do discount their product to a point where we can't uh, be competitive with them. Well, guess what? I bet it's happened a hundred times probably that I can think of that the customer went ahead and booked with Expedia, had an issue, and could not get even anything come close to getting it resolved. And so, so the experience was not what they expected. Exactly, Dean, exactly. And that's who wants to go on vacation in our field, who wants to invest money and not have that experience be a good experience. Well, the reason you're taking a vacation in the first place is because you want the experience to be what you expect. Yeah. Right? And stress-free. Right? Yep, exactly. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's all about this whole uh, idea we say that you know, we want people to have clarity uh, yeah. and, and that gives them confidence and yeah. ultimately puts them in control. Well, yeah. if they've, if they're trying to do this on their own, that clarity probably isn't going to be there. It's going to be like, okay, well, I don't know what's going to happen when we show up at this port. Uh-huh. I don't know really uh-huh. what to expect when we get into this downtown area. They've never been there before. That's right? right. And look, I, I did a trip. Uh, I don't know if you knew about this or not. I did a trip here uh, about two months ago where uh, me and uh five of my friends from around the country and my two sons, we went to the Amazon River and we went giant peacock bass fishing. All right. Now I'm an avid fisherman. I fish, you know, pretty much all year round. And I could have said, you know what? I know how to fish. I know how to put a hook on a line. I know what lures to use. I can read about that. I'm going to go to the Amazon and I'm going to catch some giant peacock bass. But you know what? I didn't do that. I hired a guide to take us on this trip because 
I knew that I was traveling, you know, half a world away to get to a place that I had no idea what it was going to be like. Right. And I wouldn't have known, known where to go, you know, to have the best experience. And yeah. so I hired a guy. And you know what? I would have not done that any other way because I needed to go down there with somebody that actually had done it before right. and, and was able to make my experience what I expected. Yeah. And managing expectations is huge, isn't it? In your business Absolutely. or in our business? Making sure that the money you spend on the experience you want is worth it. And that's what professionals do like us. It's what professionals like you do day in and day out. And at the end of the day with us, at the end of that vacation, uh, it warms our heart when we have somebody come in with a, with a photo album, still nowadays a photo album, full of pictures of their last vacation. Yeah. And they just are grinning ear to ear. You love it when people with your counsel and your advice and managing their expectations make enough and do well enough that when retirement comes, they can do some of these bucket list trips they've always dreamed about. Uh, all right, you bring up a critical point there because I think that a lot of people, and you know, we work with what I'll call the, the millionaire next door, the mass affluent, um, and you know the attitude of, of most of these people. Mm -hmm. They don't think they're wealthy, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. they, they've they worked hard, mm -hmm. they lived yeah. below their means their yeah. entire life, they saved, yeah. and... A lot of times what happens, and this is kind of where I think my job as a financial planner really gets critical, mm -hmm. is that we have to sit down and talk about what they want the rest of their life to look like and what kind of experiences they want to have and what those experiences right. are going to cost, et cetera. Right. And believe it or not, I see people on two sides of the spectrum. I see people that have saved more than they'll ever be able to spend, yeah. but they're so scared yeah. that... Yeah something might come along yeah. and take that wealth away that they won't part with a dollar. They yeah. won't go spend mm -hmm. it. And then there's those other people mm -hmm. who are of the opinion that I'm going to do it and I'll figure out how to pay for it later. Yeah. And, and yet mm -hmm. most people don't have the clarity on what they're able to do. So much in the same way that you're saying, hey, let's find out what you want to do, what you want your experience to look like. We're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And if somebody wants to take a nice vacation each year, well, okay, we need to build that into their retirement budget. And I'll tell you, I got the biggest kick. Um, I got to uh, watch a guy retire this year in 2019, who he and I and his wife had been working on their retirement plan for 10 years. And they had this thing, okay, here we want, we want this trip the day that I retire, we're going to go on this trip and we're going to be gone for three weeks. Yeah. And then next, the year after that, we want to take one trip and we're going to take our three boys and yeah. we're going to do this. And then we're going to take a cruise on our own. And then the year after that, and we planned this stuff out and we built it into the yeah. budget. And yeah. you know what? I, I threw a party for this guy when he retired right after he got back from that vacation that he took. And I've watched him. Now they took the second vacation. Next year, you're going to take two more vacations. Yeah. And it's in the budget, and so he knows, and because we've shown him, hey, right. you can afford right. to do this, and yeah. this is what this is what the experiences they want to have. So yeah. I think, I think it's critical that people actually plan to do these things in the future, and don't start when the day you retire. You need to start planning on this stuff when you're 50 years old, and start thinking about what kind of life experiences you want to have, yeah. so that they can come to Mark Comfort and say, hey, Mark. Here's what we got going on. Let's plan these things a couple of years out. And they don't tell us this, but what they know is through wise counsel and diligent savings and investing, they now have the money to do the things they've always dreamed about doing. And Dean, we see week in and week out, month in and month out, especially with everybody retiring, so many boomers retiring oh, right yeah, now. Oh, yeah, 10,000 a day. Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. And they come into our office in so many cases, at least I'll tell you the examples, and they're so excited because they've dreamed about this their whole life. And we feel the same way you do as far as pride, that they're going to get to do this, this dream of what they've saved and worked so hard for all their life. Now, on the other end of the spectrum that you just brought up, it just... Ah, oh, it's so sad. And it's usually grandma and grandpa that have worked so hard and saved. And they come into our office. We've seen this so many times, Dean. And they want to do this dream trip. And in many cases, it's Alaska that they want to go to. And then all of us, and they can't pull the trigger. They have the money. They just can't pull the trigger to spend it. And then the next year, the widow comes in. Yep. And I just, those things just kill you. And don't you know... In her mind, she is saying, why 
didn't we? Yeah. So to your point, yeah, don't don't be that case. So I've got yeah. a I've got a great story for you here, yeah. and I think this ties into what we're doing. Um, several years ago, had uh, a couple that clearly had enough money to have a really nice retirement, mm-hmm. and when we started talking about you know what was important and what is it you want to do and and what do you want your life to look like and and uh this guy says he says you know i've always wanted to do one of those around the world cruises yeah okay i i assume you've helped people oh gosh yes. do some of those right mm-hmm. well, well that's a that's a pretty long trip and it's pretty expensive right mm-hmm. and and i and i said i said well then go and he said i just i don't know if i can afford it and i said okay so let me show you let's go run this through your plan mm-hmm. Let's put that expense in your plan and let's see what happens to your probability of success of still being able to do everything else you want to do right. if you do that world cruise. And it didn't change anything. Yeah. And I said, go, take the trip. Next year comes around, we sit down and we talk, and I said, how was that around the world cruise? He said, we didn't do it. I said, why not? Oh. He said, I just, he said, I'm, I'm having a hard time. And I'm like, look, <laughs> you got to do this. Yeah. You got plenty of money. Let me show it to you again. Yeah. So finally, he got the message after a couple of years. He and his wife take the cruise, and he comes back, and uh, we talk, and he's crying. And he said, best thing I've ever done. <laughs> he said, but I got to tell you. I said, why are you crying? He said, he said, my wife was diagnosed with cancer a week after we got back. Oh, no. So yeah. had mm. he not been able to give that, give that experience, uh-huh. right, mm. and for him— just that that idea that, okay, I can do this, yeah. right? Yeah. But that's the opposite of the story you were telling. Yeah. But it's, man, I see it all the time. Mm-hmm. And and mm-hmm. so I tell people, you know what? Let's let's think about let's think about it this way. I think that if you retire at sixty five, you've got maximum of fifteen years of really good health and travel uh-huh. if you're blessed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Correct. And and so let's work your budget out and say, let's spend a little bit more in that first five years, that first 10 years, because you know, and I know that once you pass age 80, you start slowing down mm-hmm. and you're not spending mm-hmm. what you were spending. You just don't feel like doing those types yep. of things. And yeah, it's hard to watch people when they, when they should and could, uh-huh. you know, um, and I'll tell you, man, uh, you know, we, we've, we've both seen people come and go. Yeah. Um, we, we've seen parents and grandparents and, yeah. And, you know, when, when you, you, you sit back and you say, hey, what, what regrets do you have? Mm-hmm. I've never heard a person say that my bank account isn't big enough when I'm dying. <laughs> you know, that, that's not, I, I wish I would have done this. I wish I yeah. would have spent more uh-huh. time with my spouse. I yep. wish I would have spent more time with my kids. I wish we would have done these vacations that yep. I wanted to do. Yep. And what we're talking about here is life experiences and allowing people to live their one best financial life and live with fewer regrets. Absolutely, Dean. Let me share another experience that you probably see all too often. I know I do. And I want the grandparents in this uh, that are listening and watching to think about this as well as moms and dads. It happens so often when an inheritance is passed down to the next generation that those people, one of the first things they do, the people receiving the inheritance, come in and book this big dream trip (laughs) that grandma and grandpa (laughs) or mom and dad should have done. Yeah, they did. But didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Everybody has their own life to live. I think it's sad. But how many times, but how many times, Mark, have you heard people say, I wish mom and dad would have enjoyed themselves more? So, oh, I bet thousands of times. You know what we tell the grandparents of the world, too, is spend your the kids' inheritance and grandkids' inheritance with them. Absolutely. Creating memories right now. That's right. you saved, you've worked, you've listened to financial advisors, and you've invested well, and the nest egg is there. Do it now Yep. with them. Well, and, and so one of the things that we'll do is we'll say, okay, do you have kids? Yeah, well, I've got grandkids, yeah. Uh, do you want to build some experiences with them yeah. while you're able to, yeah. love to, but you know what? They're busy, and... We have a hard time getting everybody together. And I say, you know what? Let's do, let's build into your plan a family vacation once a year where you're going to pay for everything. Yep. yep. Okay. And, and good, let's, good, let's, good. let's build this into your plan. Yeah. And so as simple as 
renting a house in Vail, Colorado mm -hmm. for a week mm -hmm. and flying all the kids and grandkids in exactly. and, and spending that time. Or, you know, maybe it's let's take the entire family on a cruise. Or But you're getting the family yeah. together. And you know what? When you plan that stuff in advance and you tell your kids and your grandkids, hey, I'm paying for this. This is what we're <laughs> doing. This is where we're going. Get the time off now because it's coming up. And then, you what? know what? They'll do it. They will do it too. It's so funny that when grandma and grandpa or mom and dad pay for something, they'll figure out to make the time available to do that. Exactly and right. That's been our mission statement, Dean, probably similar to yours, is um, cre in ours, it's we create memories that last a lifetime. In yours, we want to help you create the wealth to create memories, however that is done, by spending the money that you've saved. Right, but here's the thing. So in my industry, if you look at the financial media and Wall Street mm -hmm. as a whole, yeah. they really teach you to die rich, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. they, they want you to put your money in and never spend it, okay? Yeah. My job as a good financial planner is to show you how to live rich. Yes. And your job and what you do yeah. is trying to help people have that rich experience yeah. Yeah. In, in their travel. 100% right. And again, that comes to the value of financial planners, of vacation planners, of professionals that care and have the knowledge to be able to accomplish the goals and dreams that people have. Right. And and so it just, you know, going going back to this whole idea why people are nervous to hire oh, yeah. mm -hmm. a financial planner, why they're mm -hmm. nervous to hire a, a a planner for their vacations, but you know what? Yeah. When that daughter got married, you hired that wedding planner, yeah. I guarantee you, right? <laughs> and that I, is true. Okay, but maybe that was just because there's so much stress and emotion around yeah. that time frame. Yeah. But, but look, people have jobs for different reasons, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you just have to understand. And you know what? I bet if somebody said, uh, you know, Mark, I want to come in and talk to your company, and I, and I want you to you sit down with me and explain to me why mm -hmm. I should hire you. Mm -hmm. You're not going to charge somebody to come in and do that. Absolutely not. No. And I think. And good for them. Yeah. Good for them. Just like you would want them to ask you the same question. Absolutely. And by the way, so if they're thinking it, and, and by the way, all of you, if you're thinking it, ask it. Yeah. It doesn't hurt our feelings, does it, Dean? <laughs> Not at all, yeah. because we're not clairvoyant. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. And and so the reality is we, we, we want people to explore their options. Sure, they can do it on their own, whatever that is, investing money, uh, doing the vacation, Yes, that's an option. Is it the best option for them? Maybe, Maybe, but probably not, especially as it get as the ramifications get bigger and bigger and bigger. You're so right, man. When you're 50 years old, you're not thinking about retirement. No, you're thinking about how in the world am I going to get my debt paid down and yep. save enough yep. money? Finally got my kids out of the house, yep. or they're yep. going to be out of the house yep. here sometime soon. I'm yep. going to have college taken care of. Yep. Now it's time for me to start yep. really focusing. And so what happens is you're in your peak earning years. Yep. You're, you've got more demands on you than ever before yep. at work, time. and you and you got three focuses, paying down debt, yep. saving as much money as yep. possible, and, yep. and getting yourself prepared for retirement. And you're not thinking – what do you want that future to look like? 100% correct. And, well, I'll say me, not you're younger than I am, but the reality is you better be thinking about that. Yeah. Because it's going to get here. And don't you feel sorry for the people? I bet you see a lot. I know I see a lot. They get to the point of retirement, and they don't have the nest egg to do anything, or literally anything. Or, or they, they just... I, there's a lot of different scenarios that happen, yeah. Mark. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, obviously the people that are able to, uh, you know, come and work with us as financial planners and people that are able to come to you and, yeah. and work, you know, yeah. here's, here's what I think, right? So you go back to that 50 year old, right? And let's, and let's start creating this plan. People today in mass will spend more time planning a single vacation than they will planning for their retirement. Is that right? Absolutely. Holy cow. Absolutely. You think about the amount of time and energy that somebody that comes in and books a cruise for you and the amount of questions they have and what they've uh -huh. done, the research they've uh -huh. done, and the places that uh -huh. they're going and what they're doing. They'll spend hours uh -huh. planning that. And you know why? No question. You want to know why? Because it's tangible. Well, that's right. Because they can see it, mm -hmm. right? It's it's a physical thing yeah. that they're going to do. Yeah. And this whole idea, this concept of retirement is it's foreign, Right there, there is no 
uh, picture book and yeah. you've never been there before and your experience yeah. is going to be different than somebody else's. But here's what I tell people. If you spend the time planning your retirement that you do, planning a single vacation, Holy cow. you're going to have so much more money in retirement that you're going to be able to take multiple vacations, yeah. right? Yep. So let's plan yep. a lifetime of you know, good vacations on a regular yeah. basis, but you got to have a good, solid retirement plan in order to make that happen. Well, that's 100% right, and it it is just um, a fact. I see it all the time. I know you do, too, and it's sad when people don't plan ahead and don't take advantage of the knowledge and expertise of people that can really help them. And, boy, back to the, the fee or the cost, to your point, if it is so much better for you to pay whatever that fee is, doesn't that make sense? Absolutely. Dean, I've done that with CPAs for years. And I've upgraded CPAs over the years because I'm our situation is different. You get and more I'm complex. Happy, yeah. And I'm happy to pay what they ask to keep our tax rates down and to protect what we have. I think it's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's worth it's, every penny of it. Absolutely. And so, you know, the whole idea here. No, bringing you on to the guided retirement show because I think that you have, you've got those experiences and and people are going to go places, right? Yep. Oh, gotcha. And and look, if I'm gonna, if I tell my wife, hey, let's uh, you know, let's head out to Colorado for a weekend, and 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 those of you listening to the podcast that don't know where we're located, we're in Kansas City. But if I say, hey, let's you know, let's go to Colorado for the weekend, let's head out to the mountains and and uh, yep. do a little uh, sightseeing. I'm not going to call Mark Comfort to to plan that trip for me. It's a straight shot down I-70. I'm going to get there, and you know I'm I'm in, I'm in my own country. Everybody yep. speaks the same mm-hmm. language, and and I can that's a simple trip, mm-hmm. right? That's right. But if I'm getting ready to hop on a plane, and I'm going to head to some part of the world that I've never been to before, your example that yeah. you gave early in our podcast here of of Egypt, a, yeah. a river cruise the down Nile, the Nile, Nile River, River, right? Mm-hmm. You're not just going to you're not just going to fly down there and hop on a boat, you know, (laughs) you're going to need, you, you're going to need a lot more planning and you're going to need some professional assistance. It's so wise. It's just smart for people to do that. To your point, there are some things in life you can do on your own and, and it's going to be just fine. There's other things like the example you just gave a Nile river cruise or going to some place foreign, really foreign, maybe far away. You want that to be done perfectly. You want your expectations to be correct. You want this to be a stress-free vacation, right? And you want to be able to afford to do the things once you get there. That's exactly, well, you help them get to the stage that they can do that, and we help them make sure that vacation is the very best it can be. Dean, I was telling uh, one of your employees, Jules Cook, earlier that uh, I've taken a new theme this coming year that I just love. You may have seen that AT&T commercial that's on that. It's just it says, okay. Just okay yeah. is not okay. It's not okay. And I love it. And so we're saying, <laughs> I bet you feel the same way. You don't want a good vacation. You want a great vacation. Right. That's what we do. Yeah. We so, provide so, that. So if somebody comes to you and said, are you a good uh, vacation planner? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm okay. You don't want okay, okay. Just okay is not okay. I, I personally love that. I, yeah. I think it, the the marketing on yeah. that was brilliant it for was. sure. I heard another one, Dean, that uh, applies to you as well as to me because this Midwest area, we're in Kansas City, but a lot of our clients come from quite a ways around is that the, um, I heard it from a jewelry store, is that the drive is worth it. Mm. The drive is worth it to come to, in this case, my jewelry shop. I think the same is true. You know, we've been in a part of the city, um, those of you that know Kansas City, the north part of Kansas City up by the airport is the last part of the city to grow in people, uh, people uh, demographics with the money that want to take nice vacations. We should never have been up there, Dean. But the reality is we marketed better, just like you. We uh, know what we're talking about, just like you do. And we care about our clients, just like you do. When you're an advisor, you use the word planner, financial planner. That's exactly what we are. We are an advisor. We are counselors. We're vacation planners. And our simple goal is to make sure they have the very best vacation they can possibly have. And Dean, do you know what? I'll bet you six out of ten people think they know all the options. 
that have no idea what all the options are that yeah. they have at their opportunities to use. So let's, let, I want to, I totally agree with all that. I want to, I want to switch gears a little bit. Okay. I want to talk about different experiences on the same boat, on the same trip. Same boat, I like that. Okay. And and here's here's what I mean. Yep. So yeah. you could book an inside cabin right. on one of the lower levels right. with no windows. Right. And you kind of got to inch around sideways to get around the bed and <laughs> no place to put your luggage and yep. Yep. and... The only thing you're going to want to do in that room is sleep. Yep. Okay. Now that's going to be a less expensive trip than if you say, nope, I want an outside cabin. Mm -hmm. I want a bigger room. I want a balcony. Right. I want to be able to sit outside in the morning yep. in my own privacy and have yep. a cup of coffee. I yep. want to have room service come in. I want to, you know, yep. now that's a different experience. hundred percent. So, and that is our job, Dean, to, paint the picture and make sure the consumer has the options and knows whether the value for the difference in price is worth it to them. Exactly. That was my point, right? Yeah. And it's all about value, isn't it? Yeah. It's all about satisfaction. I have never had anybody complain, never in 31 years, that they took a balcony cabin instead of an inside cabin on a beautiful destination, say like Alaska. Never. Right. So I'm, I'm taking this, I, I got this beautiful balcony c cabin. Yeah. And maybe I'm spending another few hundred bucks for the whole cruise. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, the question is, is it worth it? Right now, you're yeah. only you, in a lot of these places. You're gonna go one time. One time in your life. Right. Just yeah. like retirement, you get yeah. one time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're going someplace you've never been before. Yeah. Do it right. Yeah. Exactly, Dean. And that's where the uh, counsel from a professional that knows and cares is so valuable. I would actually say invaluable 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 let's talk about the trip there because i had an interesting conversation yeah. with a client of mine who's not yet retired a very successful businessman and you know he's he's well on his way to uh, an early retirement and this guy likes to travel he's single yeah. uh, but he's mm -hmm. got a he's got a brother that uh, lives over in europe's in the military and uh, he's got a niece and a nephew over there as well. And so he, you know, he likes to travel over Europe and he always books some travel around, yeah. you know, going to, to see mm -hmm. his family over there. And um, he says to me, he says, you know, Dean, he said, I could afford to get that business class ticket or uh -huh. that first class ticket, but I can't do it. And I said, well, why not? And he said, he said, I think if you think about it, really, he said, I would rather spend the money on other things once I mm -hmm. get there. Uh -huh. Okay. So now he, and I said, well, I said, well, let me ask you a question. What about this? What if you're getting ready to board your plane and they'll upgrade you to first class for 500 bucks going from here to Europe? He said in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that. <laughs> but, but he was thinking yeah. that the only way you mm -hmm. get it, but then, and mm -hmm. you know that sometimes mm -hmm. there's those upgrades available if you book mm -hmm. your tickets right and you do the yep. right thing. Right. right. So it's understanding what you want and what's most important right. to you. And and just like in travel and in retirement, sometimes we have trade-offs. Uh -huh. And so I think one of the valuable things that you do as a vacation planner is yeah. help people understand, okay, these are the trade-offs that you right. know, you're going to have if yeah. you choose these different options. Exactly, Dean, exactly. Um, options and understanding the options and then – matching that up with values and expectations that, that's really what we do and then our job is to make sure <clears throat> that we funnel the opportunities we give the opportunities to the people to make decisions you use the example of business class here that's a big one right now it we've seen more people decide to upgrade to business class on long flights let's say australia new zealand uh, asia uh, South Africa, places like that that are long, long flights. And it's our counsel to say, <laughs> this is my recommendation to you, especially if you're a tall guy right. or something like that, uh, whatever it might be. Go ahead and spend some of your kid's inheritance right now and spoil yourself. You deserve it. Right. Do the business class. And maybe yeah. Yeah. maybe you don't book the suite. Right. Maybe you just book a yeah. normal cabin, right? Uh -huh. Which one's going to give you the most comfort and, and do what you want to do, That's right? right? That's right, Dean. And we, we weigh, help them weigh the options so they decide which or both they do right. or not. Because you're right. To some people, they'll say, well, we're on that cruise for 12 nights. 
I'd rather have the suite right. on the ship. There you go. For what I'd pay for business class I'll, air. I'll, I'll suffer through that 10 yeah. hour flight or whatever. Uh-huh. And we say that's, that's a, we can help you with Ambien or melatonin or wine or whatever. But, well, yeah. but the reason I bring that up is because when we're helping people plan their retirement and we talk about annual vacations, yeah. we kind of get an idea of what yeah. kind of a budget we can have. And so, yeah. you know, people in retirement, they, they still do have a budget. And uh-huh. so we might say, okay, we're going to spend $15,000 a year on yep. vacations. All right. So that's, this is my budget. This right. is my 15 grand. So they're going to come to you and say, Mark, okay. This I got fifteen thousand dollars, and that and this is my one vacation for yeah. the year, right? Yeah. Now let's lay out all the options yeah. mm-hmm. so that I can mm-hmm. figure out the best place uh-huh. to spend that money. And and Dean, that brings up a good point that I want to hear your input on because we get those requests all the time. Hey, Mark, I've I've got this amount of money, and this is what we want to do. Now, many times it's the guy saying that. Some, the well, if they haven't done any planning, that's probably yeah. true. So we now we look at the wife, and let me ask you this when I'm done. Uh, part of our job as counselors, and that's what we call our salespeople as counselors, is many times one of the two in a couple situation have a totally different game plan I'll guarantee of you what they, they want to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So part of our job as counselors, right, yep. is to say, okay, let's make sure with this 15000 that it's something both of you are happy with. Or, if you'd rather, uh, Mr. Smith, <laughs> you get to make the decision next year. Mrs. Smith, you should make the decision the year after, right? So we help counsel people that way. And I bet you do the same, don't you? A hundred percent. And, you know, sometimes it is a scenario of, you know what, we're going to spend a little bit more this year. Yeah. Look, we budgeted for these travels yeah. every year. Yeah. We're going to spend a little bit more this yeah. year because we want to do this extra yeah. bit. And then the following year... We'll scale it back just a little bit. Yeah. And and as long as you have that clarity, and the biggest thing that happens, Mark, is that when people quit working, the clarity of where's my income going to come from yeah. and what's okay yeah. to spend becomes quite foggy, and that's where the yeah. financial planning comes in. So helping people understand what's, what's actually able to be spent on a yearly basis. Foggy, I love that. That's a great adjective. That paints a really good picture. In, in our world, we say people get confused. My gosh, you can go to the internet, Dean, as you probably know. I bet your wife has done this a hundred times. And all the information out there that is not always 100% accurate That's can be true. very, very confusing. But if it's it? on Facebook, it's true. Yeah, if it's on Facebook, it's, <laughs> it's on the internet. It's true, right? <laughs> no, it can be very confusing. And people end up, uh, we have so many people come to us because they're just so frustrated that they, they're confused. Yeah. And they've spent, like you say, Hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks on this, and they're no closer to making a decision now than when they were when they started the research. Yeah, Mark, this has been a blast talking to you about this, and and, uh, hopefully we have kind of made some people think about mm-hmm. all right what's again this whole thing it's about yeah. you want a rich you want a rich life right yeah. you don't want to die rich you want a rich life yeah. right so get your financial plan in order and include some great travel and some great trips and maybe it's trips with your family and your yeah. loved ones and don't hesitate to reach out to Mark Comfort of Cruise Holidays and we'll get all his contact information will be in the yeah. show notes here and uh You'll be able to check that out. We'll also have a link yep. to his website. And so um, yeah, make it happen, man. Yeah. Live your life, and, and you only got one time to do this, right? And uh, make memories with your family, with your loved ones, with your friends while you can. Because, Dean, you said it earlier. Uh, when I'm done with this podcast, I'm going to the hospital. One of my best friends just had a stroke on last Saturday He's in the hospital now. They've already canceled their winter, or excuse me, their December vacation, and they're probably going to have to cancel their spring break, break vacation. They didn't plan this. No. How old is he? Uh, he would be 68. Oh, my gosh. See, and then I, I, had, I had a client exactly the same thing. Yeah. He, he had planned on retiring at 70. Yeah. This was been be two years ago yeah. now, but he had a stroke at 68. Yeah. Everything changed. And you know what? Yep. That's the thing that we don't know. Yeah, we right? Don't. And we got one chance. Do it while you're healthy. Right. right, right? right. And and make mm-hmm. sure you got your plan in order. Mark, thanks for being here. I appreciate Dean, it. Dean, it's a pleasure. Let's uh let's Been do a, this again. Absolutely. Been yep. fun. Thank you. All right, there you have it. Mark Comfort of Cruise Holidays and Comfort Tours. 
I'm going to tell you this. If you want to book a vacation and you want to make it sure it's done right, you're going to want to go to Mark Comfort of Cruise Holidays and Comfort Tours. You can find all of his contact information in the show description at guidedretirementshow.com. And you can also find the show notes, links to resources, and show transcription at guidedretirementshow.com slash 14. That's guidedretirementshow.com slash 14. As well as uh, go to, uh, I think he's got a website out there. Well, all that will be in the show notes. And uh, we really appreciate you being here. And here's something else. I want to leave you with this. Spend as much time planning your retirement as you do your vacation. And that will allow you to have a lot more vacations. Look us up. Give us a call. Meet with one of our financial planners. And let's get things set up so that we can be your guide for a successful retirement. Investment advisory services offered through Barbara Financial Group and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. 